Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. Well, Mike, Halloween isn't here yet, but this weather is already sending chills down my spine. It, it uh, definitely is tricky and not a treat. Normally, by the <laughs> end of October, weather is pretty decent. We'll see that in the Almanac in just a minute. But this year, we're about four weeks ahead of having chilly weather come in. And boy, it, sure, it certainly has been lousy weather in our area. Well, we've had a band of light snow pushing into the area and much of Wisconsin this afternoon. The uh, snow hasn't produced any significant accumulations on roadways, but still roadways are dampened by the snow as it's melting upon contact. We have some snow accumulation on rooftops and other surfaces off the ground, but still it's not very pleasant when you're dealing with this before Halloween. So we have this band of snow moving in. I do want to point out that the National Weather Service radar in Green Bay is not working right now, so that's why this radar view appears very choppy, but the band of snow is moving in from the southwest to the northeast. There have also been some lake effect snow showers coming into far northern and northwest Wisconsin off of Lake Superior because of the gentle northwest wind this afternoon. So definitely more of a late November like weather scenario than the end of October. So we have snow over Wisconsin and more snow back out over the uh, Missouri Valley. This second band of snow will mainly stay over southern Wisconsin as it moves in tonight. This first band of snow in our area will be diminishing this evening. We'll still have the chance of a few snow showers overnight. But again, we're not expecting much in the way of accumulation. Do watch though for some slippery spots on roads and sidewalks as temperature readings are pretty much below freezing already. Our Wausau uh, Covantage Credit Union camera time lapse through the late afternoon shows the snow kind of developing into Wausau becomes a little bit heavier toward the end toward around 530 when the time lapse ended and that's just enough to make some things look white and cause slippery spots out there. Current temperature readings in the area generally in the upper 20s to low 30s. Not much wind thankfully so it doesn't feel much cooler. There's not much of a wind chill out there. But still, this time of year, this is not the type of weather scenario that we would be expecting. Our forecast tonight, the light snow will diminish to flurries this evening. Then overnight, we'll have some scattered snow showers and maybe some minor accumulation far north in the Lake Superior snow belt. Lows chilly at 22 to 27, northwest wind at around 5 miles per hour. This is how absurd our weather is right now. The high today in Wausau, 34 degrees, is 18 degrees, cooler than the average for the 25th of October. So. If, if we weren't so cool, it would still be reasonably pleasant outside, but nonetheless, this is what we're dealing with. Sunset this evening at 556. The good news, there is some, is that we're expecting slight moderation in the temperature trend this week. So even though highs tomorrow and Tuesday for Wausau will be in the low to mid uh, 30s, we'll be back in the low to mid 40s Wednesday through Friday, then even up to around 50 degrees Saturday, which by then will be at about average for this time of year. And we'll talk about election day in just a moment. Our future track shows the light snow diminishing to some flurries and snow showers tonight. We do expect, expect a few peaks of sunshine to develop on Monday. We'll have gentle wind again, so that won't be too bad. More clouds a little bit uh, tomorrow night. Tuesday, a weather system will brush to the north, bring us some clouds, but we're not expecting any significant snow. Monday at 7 a.m., mostly cloudy, 22 to 27 degrees, so a chilly start to the day. Partly sunny by afternoon, though, but still not very warm. Highs in the low to mid 30s in the area. That's the best we can do. Northwest wind by later in the afternoon at around 5 miles per hour. Our seven day forecast isn't too bad, really. Maybe a few rain and snow showers over far north on Wednesday, but generally dry this week, slightly warmer eventually. So that'll be good news for us. And right now, election day is looking dry and reasonably mild.